while us members were in Gara Square, little children were sitting there trying to work out how to use fruit drinks. It was touching and we all knelt down to comfort the children. Thousands had fled for their survival and they had little choice. If they did not flee, an ethnic cleansing would have commenced. The United Nations confirmed over several weeks that over 100,000 people from Artsa fled their ancestral home. Azerbaijan claimed that they were dealing with terrorists. The people of Artsa claim to have created a democracy. I know the latter to be true because I met the people of Artsa and they are a peaceful people. So what can Australia do given this horrible situation and also New South Wales and my community? Well, Australia needs to send a strong message to the international community by boycotting the United Nations COP29 to be held in Azerbaijan in November.